have you had a scenario where you have multiple NVRs, they are connected to the SSM, one of the SSM servers, all the NVRs are connected. Now you have multiple clients, workstation clients, you have uh, uh, each with two monitors and these clients need to access all the NVRs for live view and playback. Now these clients will be connecting to the SSM server. In this video, we are going to see how to access the SSM server from client's PC. Okay, so uh, if you want to know how to install SSM server, refer the other videos. Um, probably it will be in the description on how to install SSM server and add NVR. So uh, go ahead and access that. In this video, we are going to see how to have more than one client and connect to the server. All right. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get connected. So here I have two PCs, PC number one, and then I have PC number four. PC number one has got SSM server installed. So if I click SSM server application, both the services are installed. And this is IP address 1.20, all right? Now I will go ahead, I log in, I will log in. Before I have, uh, in, before I install other client PCs, first I need to go to the main application, which is a server application in, through the client, SSM client, and create users for the remaining um, workstation clients. So currently there's only one user. If you have three workstation clients um, and they will, and if they belong to the same admin group, you can create add user and you can see workstation client one and the password, you can enter any password combination of capital letter and small letter. register okay done so now I have added client one similarly I need to add for remaining clients done. then client three If your operator clients are not admin, in that case, you can create a group first and you can specify here which cameras they will get access to. So if they get access to all the cameras, that's fine, select everything. If they get access to all the layouts, you can select that. And if they get access to all the maps, you can select that over. Perhaps you can disable this configuration menu and allow other functions. For our video purpose, we are going to create one user, Workstation 4. Workstation 4 should not be able to view the configuration. Okay. Done. All right. So we have four users. Now, the client is on a different PC. So the workstation client, let's say it's on PC number four. All right, in PC number four, you have to click on SSM console to open the console application. After that, click on settings. Now, what IP to enter? Here, you can enter the IP address of the first PC. What was the first PC IP address? You can find it here under SSM manager. Um, it is 1.20 or basically you can check the IP setting, whatever is the IP of your SSM PC, 1.20. So you can use 
like that. Okay. Now PC one IP is one nine two one six zero one dot twenty, and you can give that as a server one. Good. Now, what about the username? We created now a couple of users just some time back. So workstation client one, I will go ahead and enter the password. I should now be able to log in to that PC number one. Whatever NVRs, whatever cameras are connected there, I can see it from another PC, which is a client PC, All right? With the credentials. Great, so now I have all the cameras. Right. I can access the uh, configuration menu. I can see my user uh, cre uh, which I have created. So you can go under uh, user, you'll find all the details. So it's basically I've logged into that particular server as an admin. Now let me log out and log in as WC4. He should not get access to the configuration menu. I have now logged out. I'm going to log in as client four, enter the password. Now, now you will see that I have logged into the system. I can do all the functions. I can see the cameras, but I don't see the configuration option. It has been frozen. All right. Now, uh, if you have other workstations, for example, let's say, now I have another PC. Let's say this is client two, client PC two. Client PC two also install the SSM console client application. Then in order to connect to server one, how I should do that, click settings and enter the IP address of server one. It is already listed here, so I'll just check it and put svo1 all right login now i cannot use the same username i need to use a different username because you can log in only once with a um, you can log in uh, not just once basically you can log in with one user id at one point uh, you cannot have two user ids logged in at the same time all right so here i have second user id logged in Now that's it. Now once it loads, you will get access to the client application. You get access to whatever user rights we had configured under the admin group. Whatever he gets uh, authority the admin group has, this particular user will also have. I have access to the configuration. I'm basically logged in to that server 1.20. You can find here I'm logged into 1.20. I can see all the user rights and so on. All right. So I hope you uh, got found this video useful. Thank you.